For this presentation, I'm going to simply talk to you about something known as the L5 spring test. So the idea would be, if a patient has a natural lordosis to the lumbar, okay, when you spring on L5, there will be some nice spring motion within that lower joint. However, if a patient is more in flexion, okay, then when you palpate the L5 and now you spring, it feels very rigid. Why? Because the spine is in flexion, so it's almost like a flat back, so it's a very stiff back. It could also indicate, let's say someone's got spondylosis because they're older, you might find that the lumbar spine is flexed, so when you come onto L5, it's very rigid because the spine is flat because of the spinal changes. However, you'd also want to consider the sacrum. If the sacrum's counter-nutated, as in it's gone backwards, the lumbar's gone forwards into flexion, it will also feel rigid. You know, if someone's like Sean's age, then you might find that there's no reason why he'd have spondylosis, but his sacrum could be gone backwards. So you palpate the pisiform, L5 and you spring, and you would check for that. If the sacrum's in nutation, as in it's gone forward, which means the lumbar has increased its lordosis, and you come onto L5, there will be more spring available to that level. Okay, so the test is quite easy, it's just understanding the complexity around it. So, for instance, if I get Sean just to rotate his pelvis posteriorly, okay, so now the sacrum is counter-nutated, and I come onto L5 and I spring it, it will feel stiff from there and relax, and vice versa, if I get you to increase your lordosis, okay, when I come onto L5 and I spring, there'll be more spring available. But if I just let him relax in his neutral, okay, he does look like he's more in lordosis than he does in flexion, and I find the L5, which I'm on now, okay, ilia crescens 4, come below, so L5 spinous process, Pisi form onto that level, and then from there I'm going to spring. Because L5 springs nicely, it means that there is a natural lordosis to that lumbar spine. Okay, so that would be known as the L5 spring test. So if it's rigid, the spine is in flexion, and if it is a spring, it means that it is in, it is in lordosis, or potentially hyperlordosis, because of the position of the sacrum is in nutation. Thank you for watching.